Can you give a 90 second reasoning for why you are a, why you are taking Zetia and Lipitor? Are you mitigating risk based on your ApoE4 or is there something else going on? Um, so actually I'm not taking them anymore, which speaks to my point of I'm always changing meds in flux, but why I was taking Lipitor and Zetia at the time and will always continue to vacillate into and out of lipid lowering medications is uh, I'm trying to live as long as I can. And um, for me, that means uh, delaying the onset of atherosclerotic disease as greatly as possible. So you know, why you wouldn't want to take an all hands on deck approach to that, which is reducing the burden of lipoproteins, maximally inflammation and endothelial health, insulin, uh, you know, all these things. We want them to be all as low as possible. Um, <clears throat> as for the choices of those two agents, um, uh, Lipitor, uh, it, it's all empirically derived. So, so through trial and error, I have figured out that, you know, I synthesized a reasonable amount of cholesterol and taking 10 of Lipitor three times a week was actually able to um, when coupled with ezetimibe, which is a works via a different mechanism, but I could measure my phytosterols, they were quite high. I knew I'd be a pretty strong responder to it. So by you know, so the ten plus ten stack of those two was a minimum effective dose um, that produced you know very good results in me, meaning it got me to below the twentieth percentile, typically to the tenth or fifteenth percentile. Um, and you know, so thirty milligrams of atorvastatin a week is you know almost a placebo dose when you consider what the drug can be given at 80 milligrams daily. Um, but today I'm doing something different. 